Hello there, YouTube. This is the Sharp File, if you cannot read. Um, and I have a match for you today against JHK Joel. And it is no ordinary match. It is what us Poke Battlers call a roulette. And I will leave a link in the description explaining exactly what a roulette is, but I want you to know all these Pokemon are random and I didn't pick them. So, yeah, keep that in mind. And the starter you get also is random. So, or not starter, but lead. So he gets a Machamp and I get an Infernape, which is pretty good for me. Could be pretty good for him, but I don't know what kind of Machamp it is. So I go for the close combat, which is probably my safest move. And it does just half, but after the leftovers, I don't think I can kill it. So I go into um, Kingus Khan here because I thought he's gonna Dragon Dance, but that that doesn't happen. But he does go for the waterfall, so I'm st I'm still fearing it. But then he does something really unexpected right here. I'm like, what? Draco Meteor. I'm like, ah, crap. I forgot all about that. And so my two madre, which means your mother in Spanish, is not going to live. Which really sucks because he's 252 HP. So, yeah. So I send in my upside down, which is this hit on top I just got. And hopefully I can use my um, priority moves to my advantage because I have technician. And he actually does go for the dragon dance. And I was really surprised by that after the Draco Meteor. So, yeah. He really faked me out there. But I get a crit on my mock punch, which is really important. So yeah. He sends out his Toki Kiss and Stone Edge does not enough. It did not make me comfortable keeping trying Stone Edge again because of its accuracy and I don't know. But I get paralyzed, which really sucks on a hit on top because ah, he really needs to hit multiple times in a row with his priority moves for him to be effective and uh, the para hacks are gonna they're gonna get me. And he goes for and he's a para flincher. But he has leftovers instead of King's Rock. So I was kinda confused by that. But you know, it's still it's still a huge chance of stopping the opponent with a para flinch. Because of the serene grace and it's it's just bad. It's bad news. I do I do like Paraflinch, Tuggy Kiss, but I would not like to fight them. So he paralyzes my uh, Fist of Fury. Something strange there. That was, if you didn't notice, my third Pokemon. Third. Third. To get Fake Out. So, yeah. That's, that's kind of amazing. I go for a Thunderbolt here on a Skarmory, because I hate Skarmory's, and I know that'll kill him. But the problem with this uh, Lapras is... He specs, so or she specs. Yeah, it's a female. So when he sends out this Venusaur, I'm like, ah, I would totally ice beam it. So I send him my Infernape, thinking that's a safe switch, which um he uses. He predicts perfectly and goes for the curse, which is which is pretty nice for him. And but I I've never seen a, a cursed Venusaur before actually, so I didn't know what to expect, which was really kind of bad for me because I go for the flamethrower here and it does not do even close to what I was hoping. I was hoping it was going to be an Oko 1 HKO, 1 hit KO if, if you guys don't know but you know he goes for an earthquake and I'm like oh gosh man I didn't even think about that I didn't even know Venusaur could learn earthquake man but he he does he kills me so, really, I'm kind of stuck here, because I know what I can take it out with is weak to, um, weak to his Venusaur. And after the curse, I thought I'd be faster here, but apparently I'm not, which I didn't think Venusaur was that fast at all, and I didn't know my Lapras was that slow, so he goes for the power whip. And, yeah, Lapras dies, which is to be expected, though. It isn't in you, 
but of course I use in use all the time, so yeah. Um, yeah, so I send out my mammoth wine here because I'm thinking after the curse, maybe I can still kill him with the earthquake. And earthquake actually, I I did the math in my head. Earthquake does better than an ice shard. I'm like, maybe that's not a good idea to have ice shard. And earthquake was just neutral damage. So yeah, but then I'm like. Oh, this is the reason I have Ice Shard. And we agreed on no legendaries. We didn't say no Ubers, so this is fair here. And um, my Mammoth Swine goes for the Ice Shard. And, oh man, I would really wish Elements didn't have Intimidate. That would make this game so much different. So much different. But he does, and I can't change that. So, yeah, he, he kills me with a Hydro Pump. I've never even fought Salamence before, so I had no idea what to expect. I knew it could learn, like, Fire Blast, but I didn't even know it could learn Hydro Pump, so... Did not expect that at all. Yeah, so Mammoth Swine dies to another water move. Apparently, that's what he loves to die to. But I send him my Fist of Fury here. And if, uh, you're keeping count at home, this is my last Pokemon here. And I was hoping for another crit, but I don't get it. And even with the life orb and everything, he's faster than me. I don't know if he'd be faster than me um, without the pair hacks. Or the para paralysis, I guess not hacks. But um, yeah, he kills me with Draco Meteor, and that is a good game. We got dished some pretty weird teams there. Um, but overall, I think it was I think it was pretty fair. I made some bad calls, I would say, but uh, yeah, I think my my biggest mistake in that game was uh, sending in my Hitmonchan to face the Togi Kiss, even though I knew it had Thunder Wave. So, oh well, that's that's Pokemon for you. So yeah, I'm just posting this because I am human and I can lose. So. Good game. Hope to value another time. Sure, pedophile out.